Hello, good morning. We're going to talk about a happy heart. Did you know that a happy heart is medicine? We find this in Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22, the first part of the verse. A merry heart does good like medicine. We have seen that the relationship that exists between the mind and the body is very intimate. And when one is affected, the other sympathizes. We have also seen that the condition of the mind affects the health to a far greater degree than many of us realize. Many of the diseases from which we suffer are the result of mental depression, grief, anxiety, discontent, remorse, guilt, distrust. All of this tend to break down the life forces and to invite decay and death. We know that disease is something produced and is often greatly aggravated by our imagination. Many times we could be healthy if we only thought it so, because if we are courageous, hopeful, if we have faith, sympathy, love, we will have health and our life will be prolonged. A contented mind a cheerful spirit is held to the body and strength to the soul. Gratitude, rejoicing, kindness, trust in God's love and care for us. This are health's greatest defense. The power of the will and self-control are important in the preservation and recovery of our health. Depression, anger, discontent, selfishness or impurity on the other hand can make us sick the marvelous life-giving power to be found in cheerfulness unselfishness and gratitude is what we should always keep in our mind there is a physiological truth truth that we can consider in the scriptures a merry Rejoicing heart does good like a medicine. The true principles of Christianity open before all a source of unlimited happiness. We should encourage a cheerful, hopeful, peaceful frame of mind, for our health depends upon our doing so. We should try to even in the darkest hours, when the clouds are ever so thick and dark, to be hopeful, continue to do acts of kindness, of love for others, even when around us we see human beings doing evil actions. As Christ, we may be able to say, Father, forgive them. We need to love our neighbors. This is good for our health. We need to smile and be happy, thankful. If we read the scriptures carefully, we find there are many, many reasons for us to be happy. One of them is the promise that Jesus is coming back so very soon. And he's coming to take us to a, a new home, to a place with no pain, no sickness, no pandemic. That our Father loves us and wants to be with us. I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, have a happy, happy day.